Guys, join us. We are preparing for our lunch. Ngayon, uh, we will clean itong rice galing sa farm dahil hindi maganda yung pinagkis-kisan. So you can see, there are rice na meron pa siyang hast right? So we will be removing this. Pag hindi kasi maganda yung sa Ilocano, pinagbayuan da, alam ni Kastoy na. Oo, oh, so, we'll be removing this para hindi maging problem pag kumain. So, prepare tayo. So, ito guys, 4 cups. At ako si Amulak kaya 4 cups. <laughs> Alright, join me Amulak. This one... I got a bug. Ayan! I got a bug. Okay, wait Amulak. Do it. So... <clears throat> you know Alright. Start our own rice podcast. Yeah. You know how they make rice? Sabi you guys, masarap tong rice na to kasi nga galing sa farm. Bango. Hmm, bango. Why do they leave rice in the streets? Pag bago yung rice, that. according to Lolo guys, if the if your your harvest are very very good variety of rice, this one just like this one. Um, for example, this is four cups. It should be. Uh, the normal is if, if it's four cups, the same four cups of water, right? Yeah. But if it's new, it's like a sticky rice. It should be 3.5 cups of water only. Okay? Yeah. But why do they leave rice in the streets when they're making rice? Well, that's the dryer. Uh, they need to dry off the rice grains before it will go to the milling station. But does the vehicles need to run it over? Yeah, that's the perks. <laughs> Why do they need to be run over? Because this is street. There should be a dryer for rice grains. So it's supposed. It shouldn't be the street. It's supposed to be run over. Of course not. Well, I don't get it. Are they supposed to be run over? No, of course. But why are they get it? Because they're protecting it properly. They, you can you, you can put a block, but you know what? Because it's a street. They let it you know what? It's not authorized actually to dry rice grains in the streets. Because that's the streets, that's for cars, that's for vehicles. Yeah. There are, for example, the basketball court, maybe they can use that if there are no, especially in the morning, the lunchtime in the afternoon, because some players are just playing in, in the late afternoon, they can use that. That's dual. That's. The idea why some areas, barangays, they have basketball courts. For rice? Yeah, they use that for the, uh, the dryer or to dry up the, the rice grains. Mm. Okay. So later on, guys, samahan nyo kami. We will go out because I think we want to eat fish for today. Um, let's see. Let's try to find. I love fish. Yellow pin, right? Yellow pin. Tuna, big tuna. I'll make kinilaw. I'll make siniga. And of course, my wife's favorite, your mom's, the ginarut. Ginarut. Ginarut with prito what's, and kamatis. What's ginarut again? They will just slice it oh. into thin one. I don't know about all the Filipino foods I hear are very familiar. And I know I already eaten them at some point, but I forgot what they were. Like, yeah. I forgot what they are. Just watch and learn what I am doing so that you will know if you have your own family in the future, then you know what to do if you're kids. Especially if you're Asian. And more especially when you're Filipino. Remove also this one, this, this one, this the one. All kinds. All kinds. Just use your... All kinds. This one. And now I'm just going to do this. Right there. Good. 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 Good.
yen. So let's flip it over to the very bottom. And just do it like that. Okay, this one, this one, sorry. Show you what to do. Just little by little to do that. Oh, so you can see. Transferring from one place, from this area to that area. Alright. I'll double check. Oh, God. Alright. What did you do in your high school? You know what there is in the farm? It's really good to cook it with the old way, the old style of cooking herbs. It's the aroma is different if you cook it with the wood rather than cooking it in a rice cooker. Uh, well I think we've tried it before, right? Yeah. It's really really good. Iba guys, masarap, rice masarap pag niluto sa kahoy yung rice at yung mga ulam. Yung mga old style. Rather than yung instant. Of oh. course, mahirap nga naman. It's really hard if you will use wood every day. Especially kung rain, rainy days na hirap ang patay yung wood. Unless may stock ka ng wood. But it's good na may mga gasol, may mga stove, at may mga rice cooker to use. It will become easier to prepare rice. Yung mga kudos sa mga magsasaka natin, we need to give thanks to our farmers. Ito, Lola and Lola. The Tito who farm our farm Lola there. Lola. Because, because of the farmers, we have food in our table. We have vegetables. We're enjoying food because of our farmers. Maraming maraming salamat. Shout out sa mga farmers natin. But you're a farmer. Yeah, I am. But I, you're shouting out yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I can do farming. So I used to. Shout out to myself for making this rice. Do you wanna have? Do you wanna have your own farm in the future? When you, I'm like, when I'm like Lola and Lola, I want to. Forty or fifty or sixty? No, what they I feel like forty or or, or thirty you, years. You can also have. I feel like that's too young for you, me. You can also have gardening in the urban area. If you do gardening in the urban area, in the city, then you are helping the city. So mm -hmm. we put rice seeds on every road. Yeah, some of them, you know, especially in other countries. They are putting rice grains in a container, but lots of container. What happens if we, we don't remove those? It will stuck in your throat, and it's not good, and you will die. Mm. It's like, you know, accidentally eating a fish bone. Oh yeah. I hate so We really need to remove no. those. It's gone. What did you do in, in high school? Like like for a month one, month two, month three, month four until the year end. Of course. You were junior high. In high school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty that's when I when I was your age, I stayed Lola open, you know her yeah. place, right? So I stayed there. I helped her in her garden. I woke up early, of course. I woke up at four. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, preparing. And then somehow not surprised. By six, I uh, prefer for school, and sometimes I walk because mm. I do not have that much. Sometimes, as we many. When I was 16, I, I, I taught seminary. 16 or 17, yeah, I should say 17. Oh, I started to teach seminary. Can I teach seminary to Um, Yeah, you can teach a seminary. You can be a teacher. How is that possible? After mission, you can teach a seminary. For you, before mission? Yeah, before mission. Because before we serve 
in a mission at age 19. Oh wait, am I gonna be age 19 too in the mission? No, 18. Right. They lower the age. So when I'm 20, I'll be not in a mission. And I'll be a yeah. big boy. Third mission. You going to finish school? Of BYU, Brigham Young University. Yeah. There you go. I also, after school, if I have time, I go to the farm to help Lola and Lolo and Lola in the farm. Especially in the rainy season, we used to remove the grass, the you know the kohol. Yeah. The one who eats the rice, the, 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 the rice grains, and what you can see that I will show it in the market. I will show it in the market. There are, there are they sell them, yeah. They sell in the market, they cook it for food. What have you eaten a, a frog before? Yeah, it's very, yeah, like adobo and tinola. Tinola frog. How about you guys? Sarap ba ang adobo and tinola? Nasubukan nyo na ba yung frog? How about kohol? Yung mga suso, sabi nila, no? Suy! Marami yun sa farm namin, marami yun sa ilog. Kasi, in our, in, in a in our farm, may ilog doon. May mga dalag, may mga hito. As you can see in our previous photos and videos sa Family Matters, yun, sa farm po namin yun sa ako. We usually visit the farm pag hindi busy ang school. If the kids miss Lolo and Lola to we visit. Probably will be visiting next week kasi it's Lola's birthday on November 1. Huh? Yeah, it's Lola's birthday. Oh, I'm turning 13. Yeah, you're turning 13 in November 2. Right? November 24. 24. Same with Lola. You know what? That Lola's father, my grandpa, he was uh, born November 1, 2, the same with mm -hmm. me. That's why Lola's name is Crisanto, right? Yeah. The same with mom. And my Lola, you know what his name is? Crisanto. What? Yeah, Crisanto. Crisanta, Crisanto. You know that there's a junior, right? Lola, if he's a, he's a man, she'll be, she'll be a junior. <laughs> Crisanto? Yeah. Crisanto. My, my grandfather Wait. is Crisanto and my mom is Crisanta. And my wife is Crisanta. That's, that's weird. So I have two Crisanta in my life. Crisanta, Crisanta, and Crisanto. They're the same last name, Crisanta for dinner, right? My dad is Crisanto, my mom is Crisanta, and my mom is Crisanta. Okay, I think we're done. But also me, my, grand, my grandpa is Crisanto, my grandma is Crisanta, and my mom is Crisanta. Yes, you also have two Crisanta in your life. Because we're related. Oh. And yeah. three Christ. Christ, 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 but again, it was funny. <laughs> now what? There is a friend of your, of my aunt, who sent chocolate. Yeah. It's, it's a chocolate, it's a gift yeah. chocolate. Like Snickers? No, it's not a big chocolate, it's a, it's a bar chocolate. So, before, before I won on a mission, it was 2001, I think. It was in the ref, ref the ref. In the rough, yeah. And I was surprised coming home from mission two years ago, that's 2003, that say chocolate is still in the rough. It's still in the rough. <laughs> Wait, 2001 to 2004? Yeah. 2003. 2001 to 2003? Yeah. In whose refrigerator? It's, it's my aunt's. You gave it to her? No, it's there. It's been there. I don't know why it's been there. Oh, she left it there? Probably you she, saw it. Probably she, she's not really fun of eating chocolate. It's, like you saw, you saw it's been there for eight years, right? for two years. It's there till this day. No. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't.
But like you saw her have chocolate in the refrigerator, and then you came back, and it's still there. Yeah, you know, because it's the same chocolate. Like, and then the same place. Is of it course, that chocolate it is really expired. It's but it's still in the fridge, so it would slowly expire. Yeah, definitely. But well, how long do chocolate expire? I don't think it's that, that fast, right? All right, ready. We will. I'll, I'll cook this one. We'll cook the rice and join us. We'll go to the market with Amilek and look for fish. Okay. See you later again. Okay, let's cook this. Bye. Pause.